Hey guys, so for today I thought I would do my most high maintenance longest routine ever, which will probably take forever to upload, but anyway, I thought I'd do that for fun, so I'm going to implement some fun tools that I've never used uh, into the routine, one of these little tools. You know, I've had this for like two years probably, and I finally just opened it up today, so... I'm not exactly sure what all the fuss is about with those little tools, but maybe I'll find out today. Obviously, I wasn't overly excited to try it since it sat for two years on my shelf, but I guess since I've got all day and uh, all night and pretty much free schedule, might as well give it a whirl. So, I'm going to start out cleansing. I have a full face of makeup on, and I'm going to start out by using the Then I Met You Living Cleansing Balm to remove the makeup and then after that I'm going to use their soothing gel cleanser and then from that I'm going to follow up with their essence and toner so let me just get the uh, cleansing part out of the way Let's see if this will work whoa 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 okay there we go and I've got a little thingy so we will give this a shot here I've been trying this out now off and on and for the most part relatively enjoy it does have a little bit of fragrance in it which I'm not too keen on uh, but uh, since the cleansing balm is a rinse off product along with the cleanser I'm not as concerned as I would be so let's see although I will say drunk elephant making their little spatula thing magnetic on their jars was the best idea ever everyone else should copy that if possible so technical difficulty there. I just finished washing my face and rinsing with the Then I Met You Cleansing Balm and the Then I Met You Soothing Gel. And I just patted my face slightly dry so it just wasn't drip drying. And now I'm going to soak a cotton pad, which the ones I love to use are the DHC Silky Cotton. They're amazing. No lint. I used to use Shiseido's Cotton. But uh, it's starting to get kind of linty the last few batches I'd ordered. So I switched to the DHC and it's similar price. So now I'm going to use the Birch Milk Toner from Then I Met You, which has some moderate mild exfoliation in there. I think it's polyhydroxy acids. So I'm going to apply that to my face, which can always use a little bit of exfoliation. Well, maybe not always, but sometimes it can. Yeah. Anyway, um, so that I don't use it on my neck though because my neck is so sensitive. And with this toner, you also kind of want to take care to avoid being super close to your eye area just because it does contain some mild exfoliants in there. There we go. Okay. So I think I did a pretty good job. I'm debating applying a separate toner to my neck. I think I'm going to, but I think I'm going to use the same cotton pad and just flip it over on the other side. And uh, for that, I'm going to use the da -da -da -da, uh, Neogen Real Micro Essence, Real Ferment Micro Essence. And uh, you know what? It's kind of weird. I just use the same cotton pad because it saves one cotton pad and then I just dampen the other side of it because it seems not to totally soak all the way through I don't know I maybe I'm being too cheap but I tend to not have any issues with using one side for one product and the other side for the other anyway and maybe help us for forever if uh, a little bit soaks through but uh, it's not like a super crazy different product so anyway that was probably good because my neck is always so different and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply the then I met you essence called the giving essence 
and I like it. I've used it. I'm just going to pat it on or almost slap it on. I like it, but it does have a little bit of fragrant oils in it. So that doesn't make it ideal for those with uh, sensitive skin. So keep that in mind. So while that soaks in, I'm going to apply my propolis serum to my neck. And today I'm going to use the By Wish Trend propolis and give that a little bit of attention. I found that propolis just helps so much. My neck is so dry, and then the other night, I got overly excited and jumped up, and he, like, scratched me. I had, like, a big scratch. He didn't mean to do it. He was looking out the window, and I interrupted him, so then he, I don't know, the last couple weeks have been kicked in the face, kicked in the chest, accidentally bit by one of the Yorkies. Thankfully, it had no teeth, but I've taken a bit of a beating lately. So then, this is what I was debating if I should do the Nurse Jamie roller, which I don't exactly know the best method, or I was going to microneedle, but I'm trying to get away from microneedling and really recommending people to do it in an office just because there have been some people that didn't do it the right way and really screwed up and injured their face that will take a long time to heal from it. So I'm really, if you do it at home, just be cautious with it. That's all I can say. Okay, so I think before I do the roller, I think I'm going to put on my First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum. I don't know in the videos I watched of people using the rollers. It just kind of looked like they were doing it on dry skin. But even if you do it on dry skin or whatever, just be sure to sanitize it. If you can get your hands on some alcohol now that the thing is going around. There's no alcohol for people that need it. Rubbing alcohol, I mean. There's no alcohol, there's no masks, there's no gloves, there's no hand sanitizer. Anyway, I'm just calling it the thing. So anytime you hear me say the thing, that's what I'm talking about is the thing. Okay. Oh, and really quick, let me do my lashes. I'm going to apply the new lash, Lash Enhancing Serum, which contains some prostaglandins, which are... Uh, the best ingredients for really helping with lash length. If it doesn't have prostaglandins in it, don't expect too much. And if you're going to go with something that doesn't, I think you're just better off using castor oil on your lashes. And this tube is almost out. Ah, and it's so expensive. Okay. So let me just give this roller thingy a whirl, if I can get it out of the box. That might be a challenge. How are you supposed to get this thing out? Does that work? No batteries required. I've got that going for me. i try and take this. There we go. Oh, there's a user guide in here under this thing. Oh, you guys lost me. Sorry. Okay. Let's check out the user guide. You know what they sell for? Like $70. I think I got mine at a kit from Nordstrom during Christmas time. Directions. Massage desired area for 30 to 45 seconds daily. It is a beauty tool that utilizes a unique rhythmic rolling action, replicating the techniques used in my signature facials at our exclusive spas for a more renewed, youthful look. Cheek. Roll the tool upwards. Well, why is it not rolling? There is no way this can do anything. Okay, we can do our under eyes. Ow, this thing doesn't move the best. Maybe 
It's almost like it needs a little bit of grease or something. Because I swear I'm going to be doing more damage than good. This thing's not rolling. It takes a fair amount of pressure to get this thing to roll. I mean, look at that. I don't know. This thing is ridiculous. I mean, what the heck? Okay, and now it's moving. I guess I'll stay away from my eyes because it doesn't seem to be the best forehead. You're just supposed to go up and this thing needs a tune-up. I don't know, the before and after pictures, though, were amazing. I mean, the lady looked like she lost 20 years. But I can't believe it's from this. I don't know. Especially when you have to put so much pressure on it to get it to roll. You could do your eyebrows. Jeez, that's just obnoxiously ridiculous. Your chin... And your neck. Okay, I don't know. That was ridiculous. I can't believe that does anything. I don't know. What a joke. You ought to be even more depressed that I actually bought it. But I did get it on sale. So, I got that going for me. Okay, I'm putting that thing away. And probably I'll never open it again. Should I do a little bit of laser if this laser will work for me? Just to make it the longest routine ever. This is the Illuminage. And I just use it around my eyes and nose a little bit. But it hurts. It really does sting. I haven't used it in a while. You know, the other place I use is between my eyes. But you're really only supposed to use it on uh, your eye area, so. There we go. Okay, that's enough pain. Okay, then let me go to the next step of my routine, which is... Uh, different or Adapalene, and uh, lately I'm working on the La Roche-Posay dupe. They're all the same, Adapalene. La Roche-Posay sells it, Different sells it, um, Proactive sells it, One or 0.1% Different. The formulas are all identical, so buy whatever's cheapest or on sale or deal because they're all identical. There's no difference in the formulas whatsoever. They're all the same. And for me, I found Dappling to be rather gentle. I'm not sure if it's because I've used other retinols before I started using this. Because some people have a lot of difficulty getting started on it. And I find it to be super gentle. So, I don't know. Everyone's different. So, anyway, there we go. It's soaking in. Well, that soaks in. I'm going to apply the Basha Peptide Trio Eye Cream to my eye area after I wipe my finger off. There we go. I'm almost done with it. And it's a great eye cream. I'm just not a fan of the jar packaging. Because everything at the very bottom of the jar is, this has just been exposed to air like a bazillion times. But I just put it all around and on my eyelid, which gets dry, too. And that roller thing was annoying. I, I just don't get how that can do anything good. Especially when it takes a little bit of uh, effort to get the thing to roll. It just seems like it would do much more negative than anything positive. But maybe it works for some people. I don't know. 
Okay, so I applied that. So now I'm going to go with, uh, I think I'm going to use the Purito Centella Serum. Or should I use, you know what, actually no. I'm going to use the Awake Glow Pill Serum because I just used the Purito Serum in a recent video. So this one's great. No uh, fragrance, no denatured alcohol. Nicely hydrating, layers nicely with other products. I don't know, you know, if I really tried, I could probably make my routine last like two hours. That's if I did the micro needling and if I did the rest of the laser. If I really messed around with that roller thing, I could talk your ear off for hours. Okay, so I'm gonna let that soak in for a minute. I'm gonna apply moisturizer to my neck and I'm gonna use the First Aid Beauty Daily Repair Cream. And I like this. Okay. So I'm going to apply an exfoliating serum to my skin now. Today I'm going to use the Paula's Choice Resist 4% BHA serum. So be a little cautious. If you are new to Differin, it might not be as gentle as you think. So combining that with an exfoliant might not always be the best idea. So just listen to your skin and start any new active ingredient slowly. Don't start using it every night with other products. Just start slow. Slow is the key to everything in skincare. There we go. And this one again not applying to my neck. I probably would wake up with severe burns in the morning if I apply that to my neck. So it just goes on my face. There we go. Okay, so a lot of times if you have extra time after you apply an exfoliant or any real active, it's good to give it five minutes to soak in. But since we're recording, I'm just going to continue on with my routine and pretend like I did wait the 10 minutes. Or I could spend 10 minutes talking about the thing going around. Just stay home. Stay quarantined. Don't get this thing. Because you know, just from being a little bit a little bit sick last week, I just remember how bad the flu can be because I had just the regular flu. And that was horrible. And I can't imagine this one if they're saying it's 50 bazillion times worse. So stay home. Okay, so now I'm going to apply another serum, the Great Barrier Relief by Crave Beauty. And I really like this one because it, it gives my skin a boost of hydration. It also layers well with my complex, crazy, long routines. And it, it's almost like a moisturizer and a serum in one. It's definitely a thicker serum. And you're usually out best off applying your skincare products in order of the thickest or thinnest to the thickest. So start out with cleansing essences, a toner, liquidy water toner, and then apply a light gel serum and then your thick moisturizing cream at the very end. And then if you use actives, sneak them in there somewhere. Or facial oil. Okay. Okay, folks. So I think I want to apply the uh, it's a Josie Marin product. And it is the Beta Retinoid Pink Algae Serum. And it's really nice. It's basically kind of an oil texture. And it's got... Uh, the uh, retin alternative ingredient. 
So it gives you some of the retinol type effects without the dryness, without the time to adapt to using it. Although still be cautious with it, but I'm really loving this serum. I could absolutely see myself repurchasing again. At first when I got it, I wasn't as excited, but now that I've been able to really work in my routine because it applies, gives so much hydration. And it's nice and because i am already got a dappling or different in my routine and I'm using an exfoliant, so using something like this that's a gentle alternative is nice. So, Josie Mara, okay. Okay, folks. I think I'm going to apply one more layer to my neck. Let's see. What should I use? You know what? I just got this one recently. Paula's Choice Probiotic Moisturizer. Although I have no idea, I don't can't remember what store I bought it from, and I can't find it for sale anywhere. But it's a really nice moisturizer with some good probiotics, which really help with your uh, healthy skin barrier. There we go. How many minutes am I at? 19? See, I bet I could make this video like four hours long. And you know what? Maybe by the end of this quarantine type business, my routine will end up probably being like, eight hours in here and then I'll go out, spend an hour out and then come back and do eight hour more routine. Right? So what else do I have to do? Okay. So now I like to use the Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream, but I'm thinking really quick. Sometimes it's hard to think really quick, but give me a second here. I'm debating if I should Apply another layer of something just for the heck of it. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to apply a slight layer of the Drunk Elephant F Balm. A really light layer. which I think I have to still do my full comprehensive review of it. If you guys are still interested in it, let me know. Okay. Okay, there we go with that. Hang on one second. Lincoln, okay. He's there, he's gone. Lincoln. Okay. He's being shy. Okay, so now for my very last step. Hi. Come on in. I'm going to apply the uh, Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream, and I'm going to mix it with the Paula's Choice Radiance Renewal Mask. This is one of my favorite last steps. It's just two products that are just so great for your skin for so many different reasons. And this one I apply all over my neck and chin. Hi, Ike. Ike's in. Can you see him? Oh, there he is. Ike. Can you see Ike? You can't. He's always in here. Okay, so I'm going to take my mixture there. I don't, how many layers was this routine? I think this was many. I'm not fully done yet, though. I'm cl close. go. Feels really nice and calming. And then I'm going to apply one more eye cream and that is the Casarex Peptide Eye Serum. And I just figure if I layer everything on my face I might as well layer my eye stuff too, right? 
Okay. And then let me wipe off my mouth. And for my lips tonight, I'm going to use the Skin Iceland Berry Lip Fix. It's just a really nice lip balm that does a great job. And it doesn't really have much taste and doesn't really interfere with how anything else tastes. Which is good because normally I'd be having ice cream before bed, but since everything's shut down, uh, no ice cream. Although, at the end of all of this, once this thing is gone, I should maybe lose weight. No lattes from Starbucks, no ice cream from Culver's, no <sighs> blizzards from Dairy Queen, no nothing good except my cooking. Which I have a repertoire of like three meals, so anyway, it could be worse. So anyway, that was my, you know what, I guess to be honest, I don't think this was my most high maintenance routine. I think I can do better. So give me a chance and uh, I'm going to work on maybe a potentially even longer routine for more entertainment. If you guys want it? No? Anyway. So leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. And stay tuned for more entertainment tomorrow. Stay safe, you guys.